Hello and welcome to the 40th video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So in this video we're going to start now implementing the search functions to get the program actually to search a position. And to do this I've added a new file called search.js into the JavaScript folder. I've included it um, inside index.html here, like so. And here is the, the good old empty file. So the way over the next few videos I'm going to write the search is actually to sort of implement the functions by name and a bit of skeleton code and then fill out this code as we go through because it's probably the easiest way to go about explaining things as I go along. So the first thing we need to do is we need to define something called a search controller, not a search controller as I think I've just tried to type and that'll just be like we did with the game board forming a structure and we need to add some various parts to that. So the first one we're going to add is something called nodes and just before I carry on if you can hear background noises like banging or knocking or mowing noises or something it seems that today is uh, build and mow the garden day so there are so many noises outside I've already been waiting three or four hours to actually do this video whilst doing some other work and um, I've finally given up on the hope that it's going to be quiet outside so I'm sorry if the background noises are irritating. Anyway back to the search controller. The number of nodes is simply the um, number of positions that the program visits during the search including non-leaf nodes so whereas the perf search always took into account the leaves the count of the leaf nodes this is all of the nodes we visit during the search. The next thing we're going to add is something called an FH that stands for fail high and an FHF that stands for fail high first. And these will become a bit more important later on when we start finishing the alpha beta function. But these will be used to give us a percentage which tells us how good our move ordering is inside the function. And we'll go into detail with that when we start actually sorting the moves properly. We need from our search controller the depth we're going to search to which in the case of the current version on the website is 64 max depth because we also will have a time which is the time we're going to search for and that moment at the moment is what controls the engine search time on the website. We'll then have the time that the engine started and then we'll set a bool, so a true or false, to say whether the search, can, search has been stopped because we've exceeded our allocated time. We'll then put a best in which will keep track of the best move from the last completed depth in the search, so i.e. our best move that's been found by the search. And there's also a flag that we'll set to true or false to say whether the engine is actually thinking or not. Okay, so the first function we can actually write then in this video is something called search position. And this does exactly what it says on the tin. This will be called by from the GUI when the user has made a move or the user said flip the board and make the computer play white. Then search position is called to get a best move for the current position at the allocated depth or move time. And we'll write some skeleton definitions in now to start off this function. And we're obviously going to need to keep track of the best move, which we'll set equal to no move at the moment. And we're also going to keep track of the best score and we're going to set that at the moment to minus infinite. Now we haven't defined infinite yet so what I'm going to do now is just drop into defs.js and below the max depth equals 64 I'm just going to define infinite here and make it equal to 30,000 let's say. It just needs to be something that's a lot bigger than the maximum score that the evaluation can give us even when we're in an extreme material situation so we'll never be exceeding 30,000 so that'll do. So back to the search position then we'll set also the current depth that we're searching at and that can be set to naught. So the way the search position works is we're going to implement what I explained in the previous video this iterative deepening so our search is going to be a loop where we're going to say the current depth equals 1 so we start searching to depth 1 we'll keep going whilst the current depth is less than or equal to and we'll say the search controller and the depth that was set and then plus plus current depth and the only thing I want to put in here for now is that if, and I'll say, the search controller stop 
equals and then bool dot true then we've been told we have to stop the search so we'll break out of the search and then at the bottom here what we can do once we've broken out of the search is we finished our search so we'll set that the best equal to best move and we can also then set thinking because we've stopped thinking now equal to bool dot false now this doesn't make much sense yet what's going on inside here but this is essentially the iterative deepening and what we're going to be doing is inside here where this comment now is with an AB is we're going to here call the alpha beta search algorithm so that will search to our depth of current depth it will return us a score and it'll also set our best move we found at the root but we'll see how we do that later on as we write the alpha beta function and then we'll and well once it's set this then we can once it's finished a depth say can we search another depth or not or did we actually come out inside the current depth and break and then once we've broken we set appropriately the best move here so the score is obtained inside the alpha beta here which we haven't written yet so that's just a placeholder okay so that's it for this video then that's the one of the f many search functions the skeleton search position written and we'll carry on with the further functions in the next video so thanks very much for watching comments questions criticisms welcome as always on youtube